The following company I'm going to talk about, I've been watching for many years, probably four or five years, because I believe it's very interesting. I believe its technology is globally significant, and it's a micro cap. This is very rare. And then about a year ago, they applied for FDA approval on the technology and got a complete response letter, which is basically a denial pending further detail. And I thought it was close to game over. But now they've achieved FDA approval and have just signed a collaboration agreement with one of the world's biggest med tech companies. So I think the game is very much back on. Some of you may have guessed that company is Polarian. Breathtaking images. What do they do? It's basically state-of-the-art lung imaging. Okay? Polarian's technology has the potential to enable the study of lung function in ways that are not possible with other lung imaging and diagnostic modalities. In short, there's no other technology out there like this and lungs a very tricky, very complex bits of the body to analyze in this kind of detail. Polarian technology creates an MRI signal which is approximately 10,000 fold stronger than a conventional MRI signal, and it's safe. Now, this is a study that confirms that uh, lung damage of COVID 19, studied by Oxford University, Sheffield University, used cutting edge method of imaging to identify persistent damage to the lungs, COVID 19, the patients at least three months after they were discharged from hospital and for some patients even longer. This was not detected by routine CT scans and clinical tests. And you can see here, this is a healthy uh, lung, this is COVID damaged lung, okay? And they say that even some of the patients, more than three months you know, after they left the hospital, and in some cases, nine months after leaving hospital, when other clinical measurements were normal. So they've been discharged, seemingly nothing wrong with them, and they would have been discharged, saying there's nothing wrong with you, unless this technology from Polarian was available. So how do they do this? Essentially, they hyperpolarize the xenon gas. I'll, uh, let's have a quick video here, and I'll, uh, we can scroll down how they do this, see them, watch the video. But essentially, they've got kit, the patient comes in, and they breathe in the xenon gas, which is polarized using their machine. 10 to 15 seconds breath, they hold that, and you see all these avioli, very detailed, you know, minuscule, intricate parts of the body, hard to analyze, it can only be done with clearance technology. And then that's put out and put through one of their software systems and they can look at the lung in a lot more detail. All right, hope that makes sense there. And just comparing uh, their tech with other companies. So there's spirometry, syntagraphy, CT and xenon with them, okay? Functional measure, yes, yes, no for CT. Regional uh, visualization, no for that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and you can pretty much see it radiation free. And for every one of those, player says yes, ticks the box. Okay. Patient effort and independence, yes, yes, yes. And if you look at the annual procedures, 15 million, this is US, 250,000, 10 million CD scans in the US alone, not benefiting from this kind of technology. So they released a company update, and this is, you know, why I think it's uh, really significant. The collaboration with Philips, okay. Polarian, the medical imaging company, announced that it has ended into a collaboration with uh, Philips, a global lead in health technology to advance the field of hyperpolarized xenon MRI. Philips will showcase its MTMR 7700 system, featuring fully integrated multi-nuclei imaging, including Polarian's Xenoview. That's a trademark, their, 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 their tech there at the 2023 International Society of Magnetic Resonance and Medical Annual Meeting and Exhibition, held from the 3rd to the 8th of June in Toronto, Canada. This, for Polarian and for the field of imaging, is game-changing. Now, if you do a Google search for the top MRI manufacturers, there's, there's quite a few of them, but pretty much Philips and G, G, um, G Healthcare, Siemens, those tend to come up in the top three all the time, and Toshiba there, okay? But Philips is always in the top three, so one of the biggest there. Um, there's a quote here, this technology is groundbreaking and is already starting to make differences to patients and providers who want to know which parts of the lungs are functioning. 
which of obstruction and how effective new therapies are. This is Dr. Jason Woods, Director of Pulmonary Research at Cincinnati's Children's Hospital and the University of Cincinnati. They've already bought, they had a research uh, version of the machines, they've already bought a commercial version of the machines. The partnership between Philips and Polarian demonstrates a cutting edge technique that can be rapidly incorporated into a major MRI platform without sacrificing quality. So look at that, cutting edge technique that can be rapidly incorporated into a major MRI platform. So what's the market opportunity? There are 12,000 MRI scanners in the US, pretty much, run right about that level. About 50,000 globally. More than 95 million MRI scans are performed each year around the world. And due to the world's growing aging population and the prevalence of chronic health conditions, experts believe the demand for MRI will continue to rise. Um, so you see the global opportunity. Chronic lung disease in the US affects nearly 37 million people. The economic impact of asthma and COPD in the US is $125 billion a year. Over 5 million lung diagnostic procedures annually in the US, so over 5 million in the US alone. Long COVID globally is estimated to affect over 100 million. And remember, many patients who have suffered since uh, you know, having COVID have been sent to them saying, nothing wrong with you. Why have they said that? They can't find what's wrong with them. They, they don't have the, the technology that Polarian has. Uh, COPD is the third leading cause of death worldwide. Global MRI system markets with 4.8 billion. And uh, in, in the US, a quarter of all ER visits are related to asthma. A quarter of all ER visits. So now they actually find out what's wrong with their lungs. Our collaboration with Polarian is to bring hyperpolarized xenon imaging into the equation is a major breakthrough in improving the diagnostic, uh, diagnosis and management of respiratory disease. And that's Rud Zwerik, General Manager of Magnetic Res Resonance and Digital X-ray at Philips. And Philips leads in medical technology patents filed in Europe. So they are the leader in filing patents. So they are an innovator, Philips. And so maybe no surprise in why they are the first, and I say first, big manufacturer to sign a deal with uh, Polarian. I mean, if you are a leader in medical technology, you have to innovate or your products are not the best. And to get the best results for patients, you need the best technology. So you get left behind and you don't survive. And importantly, this agreement, like I said, this is the first, is non-exclusive, meaning other MRI manufacturers can collaborate with Polarian. Now, what do you think the other medtech MRI leaders are looking to do now? If you were head of GE or Siemens or Toshiba, they're thinking, hang on, this is ground big in tech. We haven't got it in our machines. That means we can't diagnose people with long COVID and other diseases. We can't do it. In that area, it makes your machines redundant. People will be seeking out Philips machines to find out what's wrong with them. So I think there's only one course of action for those manufacturers to make their machines the best they can. Uh, it's pretty much pre-revenue. It's close. They have a little bit of revenue from research machines. But whenever you look at these companies, what I call hope high potential stocks, and I, I don't mean that, you know, uh, I'm not doing them down by that. When I look at hope high potential, I mean stocks that have a lot of potential, genuine potential over the long term, and they're pre-revenue loss making. You always have to look at cash, okay? So they say here, um, due to the FDA approval not happening, uh, the spending plans went a bit longer, but he said we continue to sell our polarized systems into the research market and a complete two installations due in 2022. The current cash balance is expected to fund the company into late Q2 2024, and they've got 16.4 million in cash. So they've got over a 12 month runway, which is you know pleasing to know. And now, hopefully, cash income will increase. Uh, broker target price. So one broker, their broker is a strong buy on this, and uh, they've got a target. This has been there for a little bit of time. In fact, it's brought down after the last FDA knockback, but it's still at um, 105, pretty much, for one pound. So that's 303% up from where we are today, and we're at 26 pence. But I've got to state, um, you know, it's worth looking at the chart. This is back now at levels um, 2019. This is after they pass all clinical phases, one, two, and three, got FDA approval, signed with a major manufacturer, and went back down at 26 pence. And I think that that, that broker target, like I said, wasn't, or that target wasn't, um, is, you know, has been updated since this collaboration has been signed. So that broker target may increase in the short term.
Hope that helps.